Hello and welcome to Analyst Hangout. I am Omobolanli Adeshui. Well, joining me on the show today are Ambrose Omodion, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consultant Limited. Thank you for joining us, Ambrose. Thanks for having me. And also we have right here Charles Fakroha, stockbroker, business analyst, and he's right here with me. Good evening, Charles. Good evening, Omobolanli. And joining us via Zoom, we have Kasim Ogaruba Karafi, MD CEO, APT Securities Limited. Thank you for joining us, Casimo. Mr. Karafi, if you can hear me, thank you for joining us. All right, Mr. Uh, Garuba Karafi will join us as we move on on the show. Well, let's begin with the stock market report and looking at what happened during the week. Well, we would be looking at what the market was like, seeing uh, how the market performed. And that is showing that uh, Nigerian stocks, as measured by the benchmark, uh, all share index, SASI, officially fell into correction territory last week. This represents a decline that exceeds 10% from its most recent peak or high. On the other hand, the beer market is typically defined as a 20% drop from recent highs. Challenges such as CBN monetary tightening and rising inflation have kept the stock market volatile for most of the second half of 2022. And as we advance, market fundamentals such as corporate revenue and profits will likely be an additional concern. A major question now is whether rising inflation is hurting the bottom line for companies. Companies have been able to maintain earnings levels because they have pushed through price increases. But with consumer wallets already under extreme pressure, can they continue to do that? That is the big question. But first, let's talk about the activities of the equities market. Ambrose, let's look at how the market performed, especially as we saw the market fall into correction uh, line. What's your reaction to this? Actually, you know, when it comes to equity market, we're about to see correction wave you know, when after you've seen a bull rally for most of 25 to 24 percent gain. Yet before the second half, we're seeing a correction. It's expected anywhere in the world that people will take profit. But the fear of um, you know, the rising inflation at the same time, almost uh, three times uh, you know, back to back, you know, interest rate hike, and also mm -hmm. contributing to kind of uh, reshuffling what imports follow. Funds leaving the equity market to you know, safer. No instrument like a uh, fixed income and other you no know, TB. But I believe that uh, design investors are taking opportunity that now we're seeing um, you know, good uh, dividend in the market as a result of what they sell off. Like we already read that about 10% down from the peak of the of the year. Mm -hmm. For me, it's a good one. But we're supposed to come for correction. We say the beer market is about 20%. Now we're seeing a corrective move. There's no beer market in Nigeria. But the good thing is that the bottom line is anything around the corner. No macroeconomic data is still coming in to give us where the economy is. For for good investors or traders, you know that at this season, the opportunity that come with any season, whether in a bear market or a bull market, is a, an opportunity associated with what any season. That means for you to make you no know, use of the um, fundamental technical analysis, this is the right time for you to position. Why? Because during any season, we want to see increased you no know, liquidity. Whether we're saying that the liquidity market is low, but once any season does kick off, funds start coming from somewhere. Increased liquidity, we're going to see what. Buying and buyer are also going to be surprises and disappointment because some company will come with surprise result, market react. So we'll come with disappointment with market react. For that, this oscillation we're going to know in the market between between now and the next uh, five to six weeks in time. I believe that design investors should not panic. Proposition in those sectors out of the 12 sectors we have on the market, there are sectors already that are showing that this sector performance is likely to be to be sustained for what we have seen in Q1, Q2, and Q3 we're expecting. For that, mm. if you're in that kind of position, if you don't panic with what other people are saying, just hold your position and watch what the market is. All right, we'll further analyze those sectors, but what are your expectations as we expect the third quarter figures? Well, <clears throat> it's going to be a mixed feeling. Yes, the expectations, I wouldn't say investors should do anything differently <laughs> again because all the numbers are already there. We've seen everything. It's just like he said, just to position themselves. Mm. Yeah, but in positioning yourself, I would always say you need to have some little bit of knowledge. Okay. It is very key because any person who has come to the stock market, yes, we encourage a lot of people to come, but you should do, it's not only your stockbroker, mm. you know. Your stockbroker can do the little he can, but it is you, because at the end of the day, it is you that takes that decision. So you need to understand some basic fundamental analysis technical analysis, combine them together and take an informed decision. However, for some investors, yes, that are looking at long term, 
Yes, forget whether it's uh, election year next year. <laughs> we already know that the gladiators are market friendly. Yeah. Um, so we're going to see them do that kind of market friendly issues. But I'll still say investors should do their little homework, look at companies that have the P degree, at the same time, the ones that have strong fundamentals. It is mm. always key. You can never go wrong. But can you tell from the surface of it, from the look of things? That is where knowledge comes in. Mm. You need to do your own little research mm. to understand this company has strong fundamentals based on Q1, Q2, you know, and of course, the other numbers you are expecting. expecting. And of course, what they have done before in the past, mm. or even the product they are even selling, okay. you'll be able to know that, yes, these companies have, and of course, management of those companies, but it's very key. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> well, and, uh, Ambrose, let's look at the challenges such as the CBN monetary tightening <laughs> and the rising inflation, which has kept the stock market volatile for most of the second half of 2022. Do you see this also affecting the performance of the third quarter uh, figures? Yeah, it's possible. There already is a vibe in the market. It means vibe for this expectation. But I believe that uh, CBN should also learn from what will happen, what happened in the uh, UK that uh, in any environment, there are peculiar you know, variables that you should look at when you are taking your word, your monetary policy decision, mm. or when you are adjusting your, your policies. In Nigeria, yeah, we have seen that um, you know, because other trend, other you know, climate are just hiking rates, we don't follow suit without even looking back. Because actually, if you look at where we are, if you are already in the pre-election year, and you are hiking rates just to what, to reduce you know, liquidity in the system, and to start with, there's no liquidity system that you are reducing. Mm. because as we speak now, we already have a uh, low liquidity in the system. But when I saw a report that they were having a uh, excess liquidity, liquidity in the system, I was, I, I say, in this economy, I tried to like <laughs> look at my own data again to see, am I fine? But another thing is because consider that at this time we have seen that rate hike has even put UK where they are today. The the minister, was sacked. Yes, today. Mm -hmm. today. Yes. You know, it tells you that those people are serious. They know what. But that mean. also affects what, the what market. Coming, yeah, they are serious. But here we are seeing that the. The MPC committee and the CBN governor find they all agree to the hiking rate for the worst that I will tell you that this last one about almost uh, no another one uh, one hundred fifty basis points. points again, and already seen that the warning that World Bank and I have been you know singing for over like two months or three months now I tell you reflecting already you know in some mature economy. Mm -hmm. for us and they warn that Africa continent if we're not taking will also go back to recession. Why? Because we're hacking rate because that are doing look at your what is happening in the economy. If you're increasing unemployment rate, we are also risk of what insecurity. And also not only that, when we are increasing credit, companies will start to work, start uh, constructing. Why? They will start laying off people because of mm. cost of production and that will also oil the economy what in a negative direction. For, I believe that at this point what we should do for investors, what has happened the last uh, three uh, quarters. Uh, no, the last uh, three months, now let's say for mm. for the third quarter. Look at when the first rate was adjusted, around the 14th, there was good stability before the last one. But I believe that this last one will not reflect on the result of a uh, third quarter that happened. That means yeah. we're trying to see a, kind of a bit of stable uh, performance. But for investors, there are some sectors that you don't need to look at because already high cost of uh, you know, fund and also those that have, also do, have not done backward integration in that sector. There mm. are companies that in sector they are doing well. Look at that, what is happening. If you have not done backward integration, you are importing anything, not only you are importing inflation because we know that our you know, FS market here is having challenges. Yes. For that, you know, such companies mm. are going to eat up their, world, their bottom line. All right, we, we have to take what, a break okay, now. What, sorry, why those that have not done backward integration, mm. look at their bottom line, like also to you know, come up with That is what you want to do to manage your, or to analyze the market now. And taking for me of course and i'd also like us to talk about the effect of the finance uh, minister you know resigning would see how so that, that was that yeah. well, well he's out of <laughs> office now so we would look at how that would impact the market but that would be after this break please stay with us mm -hmm.